welcome to this presentation on multiple input multiple output MIMO. This presentation will give you a brief description of MIMO technology and some of the other key technology which makes MIMO successful. So the next question in front of us is what is MIMO? MIMO is nothing but the technology that uses multiple antennas to make useful of reflected signals to provide gains in channel robustness and throughput. In this slide, we will talk about MIMO basics. Here we are seeing the basics diversity and spatial. Diversity is the modes which are based on time, frequency and space. Well, spatial tells us the spatial dimension of the antennas used in wireless communication. We are also seeing spatial multiplexing. First, I will talk about what is multiplexing. Multiplexing means just combining. We are combining more than one thing. So in spatial multiplexing, Different paths are used for additional data capacity so that our data can be transferred in a more appropriate way. In this slide we can see there are different types of MIMO configuration. Single input, single output, single input, multiple output, multiple input, single output and multiple input, multiple output. First we will see single input, single output. In this there is one antenna at the transmitter end and one at the receiver end. Whereas in single input, multiple output there is one antenna at a single end and can be more than one, two or more than two on the receiver ends. Multiple input, single output. The antenna is receiving the signals from more than one antenna and giving all the signals combining them into a one single antenna. Whereas in multiple input, multiple output on which our main presentation is focused on has more than one antenna on the receiver ends and more than one antenna on the transmitting ends. Now we will talk about MIMO designing. Here we are basically focusing on two things, spatial multiplexing gain and diversity gain. I have already told you what does multiplexing mean in my previous slide. Now if we do spatial multiplexing gain, it maximizes the transmission rate, whereas diversity gain, it minimizes the transmission rate. But our main focus is reliability. Reliability is our major concern over here. MIMO spatial multiplexing utilizes several set of antennas. It gives additional throughput capability. Here we are using just two antennas, but as our mathematical equation we can see the number of receiving antennas must be greater than or equal to number of transmitting antennas. Here in the matrix format it is given as the receiving receiver antennas matrix is equal to the matrix multiplication of channel properties matrix and data stream matrix and after finding the inverse you can also find the transmitted data stream MIMO beam forming as the name suggests we all know what does a beam means here in beam forming it's a special arrangements of the antennas are made to reach the required performance in this we are using smart antennas smart antennas are those antennas that can be controlled automatically according to the requirement. There are two types of smart antennas, phased array system and adaptive array system. In multi-user MIMO, it's an enhanced form where multiple independent radio terminals are enabled for enhancing the communication. It has several advantages of itself like directive gain, channel correlation is not an issue and many more. In micro diversity MIMO, it's basically used for long distance transmitter in this coherent communication with multiple transmit or receive based antennas are used. Unprecedented theoretical and practical challenges are met with like how the different average link SNRs affect the overall system and the individual performance in fading environment. Hope you like this presentation. Thank you for listening me out. Thank you.